Blessings family, how's everybody doing? You know, I pray all is well with you and your family. Welcome back. I'm just stopping by for a moment to share with you what the Lord began to speak unto me. He said, guard your ear gates. We are to guard our ear gates because the enemy is sending people through to distract us. Yes, he's sending his people. These people are coming with all type of gossip and everything else. They're spreading things about other people to try and gain your attention. That is why the Lord is saying, guard your ear gates today, people of God. We have to guard it from the things that we are hearing in the workplace, in the home, when you're watching TV, when you're in the store, you have to guard your ear gates. I'm telling you that enemy, he is sneaky and he is cunning. He's very crafty and we already know these things. So that is why we have to stay in the word of the Lord and make sure that we are just speaking the word, just speaking the word. Because when I hear people talk negative, most of the time I walk away. I walk away and I start just quoting scriptures and everything else. Lord, I know what you said. So we have to guard our ear gates, people of God, because the enemy is trying to contaminate us. He wants to come through and poison us. That is his job, people of God. He's trying to throw us off track. He's trying to throw us off track. So you have to make sure people of God that you are not listening to a lot of this garbage that the enemy has going around. I can say that I have been guilty of things yesterday. When I got into the workplace, a young man was telling me that a older lady called another lady, you know, um, ungodly word. And I'm like, I just can't believe that about her. And see, that's what I'm talking about. You have to make sure that you are guarding your ear gates. I had just entered into the workplace. See how the enemy had greeted me at the door? So we have to be careful in this hour, people of God, because the enemy is trying to throw all type of stumbling blocks in our way. And we already know when people come with all of that garbage, it just messes us up. So we have to be careful. We have to leave that garbage where it is. A lot of you all need to take the garbage out. That's what I did. I started taking it out. I don't want to hear what people are saying. If the, if it's not edifying nobody, if, it, if we are not talking about the kingdom of God, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it because I'm telling you the enemy is sending his people and he's trying to distract us. And I know what the word says. You ran well, but who did hinder you that you should not obey the truth? See, the enemy is just trying to slick some stuff up in there so you can lose your focus. You will lose your focus. You have to keep running this race, people of God. You have to stay in the word of the Lord. I'm telling you that enemy, he's coming through and he's contaminating, trying to contaminate the people of God. A lot of us, we don't want to hear that. We don't want to hear that. But some people will stand there and they will feed off of all that negativity. So people of God, guard your ear gates. I'm telling you that enemy, he is on a rampage. You know, he's seeking that very one whom he can devour. So we have to make sure that we are just listening to the word, you know, just trying to get that word in us. But that is what we need. That word is what keeps us because when we let loose of that word, we lose sight of a whole lot of things. So we have to make sure that we are hearing the word of the Lord. If you can wear earbuds when you're in the workplace or whatever, put on you some scriptures, you know, play something that will lift up your spirit because we already know that all of that negativity will bring you down. So the Lord is saying, guard your ear gates. I know my time is up right now. I got to get out of here. I just stopped by for a moment to share that with you all to guard your ear gates. Amen. Amen. Know that I love you with the love of Christ and I will be back at that appointed time. And until then, you all stay blessed. Enjoy your day. Bye-bye.